Hello, and welcome to Rogue Tag. My name is Lucky Paws, and today we are having a wee bit of look at Battle Tag Rogue Tag, which is, to a degree, a full conversion mod. Well, partially, though, um, but there is a lot of new toys. It's way hell the more difficult than the original version. And yeah, I thought I'd give it a go and have a look how this game plays out and what we actually can do here. The idea here is to, yeah, check through a few of those things and let's see what we can happen with a band of pretty much beat mercenaries and see where we come out of that. Okay, let's jump into the career and let's get to a new career. Yes, I have tried a few things around, um, but yeah, let's kind of just hit the new button and get right into the setup. As a setup, I'm going to go for seven pieces. I will also change the company type to primitive tanks. Then we leave most of the things pretty much on the normal one. We will, though, put the advanced mech warriors at normal. We will put our starting money down uh, by 700,000. On the flip side, we will, though, add the shop selling price up to 17% and the scrap value to 15%. And let me kind of check if we won't kind of want something else. We also want to make pilots a little bit more scarce. Here we go. And the idea for Ronin's down to 30, just to make this all a little bit more challenging. Apart from that, I will not mess with anything else. Or will I? Nope, that looks fine so far. So let's start the game and see what we can. I can unfortunately not pick, uh, pick a starting planet. So let's get right into the game. And we uh, will see you back on the character setup screen. Okay, so I have set up everything. Where are we going for? We were born in the deep periphery. Plus two of Gunnery. That's usually very, very neat to have. Interested in history. That kind of gives us Lost Tech and Bookish. I'm not so sure how valuable the whole Lost Tech part is in Rogue Tech, but let's figure that out. And we're going for Mercenary. Random Advanced Unit. This could be everything. And I kind of hope you get something good out of that. And yeah, of course, we're going for the Inner Sphere. As um, Handle, we're going with King Tiger. For obvious reason, I mean primitive tanks. There is a wee bit of thing. And of course, Silky Paws. Let's go and see where we end up with that. Confirm that. And uh, yeah, here we go. Rope tech. War is business. And business is hell. Welcome to the Inner Sphere, Commander. You're a mercenary. Standing on the bridge of your very own Argo. A mobile space station, looking forward to a life of conflict among the warring factions of humanity. Will you prosper, or be remembered only as yet another thug who couldn't cut it? Well, let's find out when we are hitting continue. Now, we are in Arcadia in the Lyrian Commonwealth. I will now have to set up a few things, and I see you right back as soon as I set this one up uh, to have the right name, and I probably also will allocate some of the points for my pilots here in the barracks as they all come pretty much as uh, normal pilots. We have a couple of points to allocate. I'm going to do that very, very quickly. I see you in a minute. And I am back. 
And yeah, the updates I have done is, of course, I updated the company name. I did um, update the skills in the barracks. Also looked over what we have. We have a couple of people that are capable of vehicle fighting. A couple of mech warriors. So I would say we have a quick look into engineering. And get some of the engineering feats going on the Argo. Which I would say we are starting with structure. Do we starting with the structural repairs? Uh, no, we are starting with a power system because this gives us a tech point, and we definitely want the tech point. And now we are going in and checking for the store. What the store has to offer for us? And the upgrade here is in progress. Uh, the uh, county a carrier vehicle, 60 ton vehicles. Ooh, that would be something nice. This would be something very, very nice. Because this thing, oh my god. But there's one thing, we do not have the money for that, unfortunately. Hey, that is kind of what comes with the whole thing, doesn't it? Now. Let us very, very quickly move over to have a look into our mech base, what we have. Okay, here we are in the mech bay. I have there some loading things, but there, uh, here we go. Now, we have a uh, Toro TR1, which is a light mech with uh, some, or two SRMs, and a, trollo, a Tronal laser. Here we go. Very primitive. Uh, we can deal with that, though, because if we're here going on refit, it takes a little while until we are getting in there. Uh, but the one thing we are seeing here, this is armor technically rather on the beefy side. Of course, we still have the primitive items here, which we need to replace as soon as possible. Uh, but apart from that, this is... Uh, rather a little bit more sturdy. We have 65 and 70 points here, so we bring a good amount of armor with this mech. That's a good one. Uh, let's go back and check out the other one, which is a fire bee. Now, let's have a quick look what the fire bee brings to the table and see what we have there. It looks like we have a lot of missile slots. So let's see, we have an LRM, we have two SRM. Ah, the armor on this one is not that beefed up. But we have SRM Inferno rounds, so they are meant to set things on fire. We can stay a little bit away uh, also here incendiary LRM ammo, so we bring fire and heat to the table. Okay, I'll take that. Now, uh, let's go back. Not that good, well, armored. Let's see what we have for tanks. We do have a strike, which is a VTOL. Mm, VTOLs have the thing, they are not that well armored. But let's see what we have. Four MGs. Um, what is this? Short range missile uh, DF, dead fire rockets. Short range missile body equipped with upgrade high explosive payload in order to make room for additional payload. Cuts were taken to weapon onboard guidance system. Okay. That can hurt. And yeah, I would kind of say this looks like a nice one. Uh, so going in with this one, going behind the enemies and kind of just shredding them to pieces. We have an LRM carrier uh, with 
lots of LRM mana. 315 RM, so this is a good one. Then we have an SRM carrier. Holy hell. And a Merkaba. Now, um, this one brings an AC5, LRM, SRM, and MG to the table, but is, of course, with 75 rather heavy, uh, heavier if it comes to armor and stuff. So, in general, we actually have a good amount where we can start with. The only thing that I do not really like too much is I cannot see them because they are behind my things here. So for the tanks, I would li have liked to maybe have them a little bit higher that I can see how they look like because at the moment they are behind my thing here. And uh, yeah, I cannot really see how they look like. But this is something we can work with. Now, I could of course now go ahead and skip one day to see what my present is that I'm getting. But how about not do that and see how we fare with uh, what we have been given. Let's go very, very quickly over to the command center and have a look. Okay, uh, we are here. And see what we have. Defend base, escort, uh, battle, blackout, whatever a blackout is. I am here definitely on the path that I say, hey, I want to go for a battle. Um, the Lyrian citizens have been suffering at the hands of a local band of brigands. That sounds perfect. Remnants from a Marek battalion that saw action in the Third Succession War. With no prospect of funds, they've become common criminals. You are to eliminate them down to the last mech and vehicle. Sounds good. Now, I'm not going to change here anything. For one, we could need the salvage. For the other, we could need the money. So... I would say we are going with this. Now, uh, we are bringing these two. And uh, then we are also bringing our carriers. And in Lance 2, bringing our other vehicles. Now, uh, we are bringing Adrenaline. Then with myself, I'm going in... Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I'm putting myself actually in the LRM carrier. Uh, this one goes in, no, oh, do we have someone else? Yes, brother goes in the SRM carrier. Now let's have a quick look. Um, Gord, really? You are going in the Merkava. And on the other hand, these two don't really have that much experience, but I will put you in the Fire Bee and you in the Toro. And hey, let's see how this goes, shall we? Okay, now that we are here in the overview position, we are getting our destroy all brigand units as our objective. This again is the flavor text. Let's begin the mission and drop down. Here we go. We are having a drop down and contact. Enemies detected in the area of monitor. Perfect. Uh, move forward and clear them out. Remind this bandits of what disciplined mech warriors can do. Yeah, here's the thing. We are not that much disciplined mech warriors. Uh, but uh, I'm kind of just seeing here that we basically dropped on top of them. Holy hell. That's not too helpful. And their VTOL is going first. If their VTOL is going at all. VTOL? There we go. It's not hitting. Uh, what? Reinforcements definitely doesn't sound too well. Okay. Let me get something straight at the moment, though, because there's one thing that annoys me a little bit, and that is... 
Zoomed in your contact out of sun to no. It does not do what I thought it would be doing. Well then, uh, let's see. Okay, they are bringing new units in right away. Now, let's see. What do I have? Uh, this one. This one. Do I have an attack vector? From where I stand. I actually could attack this one. And I should actually do that. Right away. That was unfortunate. But if I can bring down one of their units right away, that wouldn't be that such a bad thing. They have a flea there. Now, uh, who do I have here? Can I attack this one? 22. No. Okay. Uh, Let's move up here, and let me fire upon this. I don't really think that um, this will make such a difference. Because, yeah, well, the fire doesn't really make such a difference to this one. But we will get there. Now, let's move this one. Um, up here. I can now easily try to rip into this one. I will actually turn off. Oh, I actually have the standard with me. No, I'm using the dead fire for this one. And fire on this one. Which means this vehicle goes down. Okay. Now my VTOL is a little bit in an interesting position, but that should be alright. Okay, let's move the Merkava for uh, Urban Neck. Not too much one of my favorites. Holy hell. That is not really something that helps too much. Well then. I would say let's fire upon the flea over there. Structure exposed. Okay. I definitely know that we need to take down the urban mech. Urbies are dangerous. Uh, but hey, what can we do? Now let's bring down this one here. Let's bring this one down then, as I don't really have any other option. Let's use standard ammunition. And that actually gives this one a panic. It's firing upon my other carrier. How rude. But hey. Lucky for me, uh, that's the only thing he was doing. Uh, let's see, can I get... Ooh. Oh, yes. Hello, Erby. A 
There's only a 20% chance, but out of the four, if I hit one with each, I should be good. And I think I definitely gave him a wee bit a shock there. Okay, a Vulcan. What do you have for me in store? Nothing. Okay, let's see. Something was firing, but it looks like it didn't hit. Uh, destroy the reinforcement. Oh! We dropped atop the reinforcements. I would say we are firing upon this little herby. We did not drop on <laughs> the initial pirate lance, we dropped at the top the reinforcement, which actually helps us now to maybe mop them up very, very quickly and then see what else is happening. Now, Firebee, how about Oh my god. Uh, can I? Ooh, perfect. No. Uh, this one is in a sweet spot. We lost already half an Irby. Uh, the ballistic gun is gone. That is helpful. That's the kind of thing we maybe should show him. We don't like Herbies here. <laughs> okay, let's see who is our next one. 13 is one. Oh, is, the, is this missile one here, which doesn't hit anything, which is uh, perfectly fine. I'm totally fine with you not hitting a single bit. Oh, well. With that being said, or a barn door that is right in your face. Okay, um, this one is pretty much on the verge of panic, which on the other hand also makes it very, very easy to hit. So I would say, let's fire upon this one, stressed and still sitting in the fire. Okay, now bring this one closer thirty thirty seven uh, how does this one look like okay I would say we are trying to take this one out perfect I mean each enemy less is one enemy less we have to deal with and that is definitely something we want okay let's rush this one forward as we don't have any firing field and as soon as we have this one is raining death and that is definitely something we all want because hey raining dead there's definitely a good idea now uh, let's move this one onward don't have any direct line of sight. 14, 14. So I would say, hey, let's give this one a warm little welcome. Uh, yeah, fire. Yerby is moving. And actually hitting my VTOL. Not good, but hey, um, we can deal with that. 20, the Vulcan. Not sure where it was shooting at, but it uh, didn't hit. Um, 
didn't hit this definitely something we like. Ooh. Things are burning. Okay. Um No attack. They have a spider. My turn. No. Uh, Banshee. I cannot. What is going on here? Yeah, I would say full fire on the Urbi again. Yeah, this one definitely got there a good amount of shots in. That was even a shot in the center. That's perfect. Jin, where are you at? Putting this somewhat in the middle of that. I would say fire. Well, we got a hit in, so we got the heat up there. Not very, very helpful, but that is fine. I mean, the Erby is pretty much in a bad situation. Really, you, you are attacking the carrier. You are coming towards the carrier, to, uh, the carrier to attack it. I am totally in favor of that. Now, while we're kind of talking about totally in favor of things, I want to move this VTOL closer over here to bring it out of some of the fire. And see. Uh, no, can I? see the action for this one. Nope, this one actually gives me better chances of hitting. And seeing this, that might be the best idea. Trying to take down the Irby. Or not. Moving this one also a little bit more forward. What do we have over here? The Vulcan. Ooh. How does the Herbie look like? Let me have a quick look. Uh, there's not much left on the Herbie. say we are firing incendiaries at this Vulcan just for reasons because while well, the Irby still has not that much left I think I can use others to deal with them for example uh, oh let's see I think I could use this one. Yeah, I should be able to use him. Or not, because I'm...
because I totally missed. No, I get him, got him into panic to punch out. That's, I would say, an acceptable outcome. Now, you are in reach. A uh, very small percentage. Fire. That works. So, <laughs> this one is also a little bit shot into half. And let's see. Shot at the Merco are not going to happen. And uh, let me. And look, they are very, very fast though because they have small little units, which isn't that helpful uh, for me because I'm coming later and my tanks are coming later in the round. Uh, I have no clue what he was aiming at, but that was definitely a fail. But yeah, running into a mission that has all of uh, uh, right up the beginning four reinforcement units. Not particularly what I was hoping for. Right out the gate, but hey, uh, we can deal with it. Can I actually stand still? I think it doesn't really matter too much for this unit. So I'm going to move him over here and open some fire upon the flea as long as I still have ammunition and stuff. That one definitely did have some problems there. Unsettled. Okay, the fleet is going back. They are trying to toast that one. Alrighty. Uh, moving the fire be over there. Mech is on fire. No, it's not. How oh, rude to say such a thing. Uh, LRMs. Sure, fire at that Vulcan. Hey, they have something over there that fires stuff at me. What is this? A cross cut? Um, I would be lying if I would say I know exactly what that is. So, let's see. Um, yeah, I kind of have to brace here to get rid of some of the heat. And let's see, can I? I can move over here, which puts me in the option to go for a direct fire attempt on the Vulcan. With that amount, I would definitely say fire. giving him also some more options there to, well, slowly die in a fire. Now, there's still the flea here. We might need to consider standard... No, I'm only going to brace this one. As this is perfectly fine in close quarters, in not so close quarters, this is usually hurting. Now, okay, Let's move up here that I maybe get a direct firing line at the flea, uh, which means I remove the LRMs. All the other things are alright, and if we hit that, that could hurt. Operative word is could hurt, and if we hit that. 
Okay. Um, yeah, they are now with 80, the 18s up front. 18, 17, 16. And that's not a hit. Opening fire without repositioning the spider. That is fine with me. Oh, ace pilot. He can move after he fired. Uh, but ran through fire. Uh, hit the carrier. Okay. Now we're at 16. Jin, my fire bee, is the one that is on the one. I kind of move it forward, even though I don't really want the fire bee that far up front. But kind of just thinking here uh, what options I have. I want to put pressure on the flea. I will deactivate them. There we go. I hit the flea, so the flea is set on fire there. Ow! Ace pilots. They do not like that one. I might need to pull that one back a little. Okay, let's have a quick look there. And we, of course, would be overheating. Let's remove those and just fire the laser then. That might not be the smartest idea, but let's see if I can get... What now? It told me I could fire upon that... Okay. Well, <laughs> there the game got me. Um... Set this one on fire again. Okay, let's see. Who do I have? I have this one. And I actually can move that one up front. Ooh, yes. I'm taking this, and I'm definitely taking the shot at you. Uh, we've got the arm open. I think we did a wee bit more damage there. Now, uh, moving here, we are not going against the flea with what I have here, but the Vulcan definitely should get some fire, and that looks like the perfect opportunity. to take this one out. I mean, why not? I'm moving this carrier away because there's too much fire coming my way. And again, for some weird reason, even though it shows me, I cannot attack there. Not too happy about that, but the good thing is they are down to only four units. That means I have now the advantage. Let's see, Jin. Um, uh, 
I'm moving you back up. Now, let's see. Yep, this other Vulcan definitely looks like I can make there something happening. Or not. <laughs> Total miss. Okay, but we actually should have this in the back, and I know I probably just jinxed that. Um, firing at this carrier. That is fine. We need to get to this at some point. Okay. Uh, moving here. Okay, that's not an option. So, no large laser, but I can use the SRMs. give him a lot of fire, which puts me in the situation to knock this mech down. No, 13. Uh, we have adrenaline, and I'm definitely going to move this one back a little bit, and over here, because I want to get rid of this one. No. Uh, just punch out the center torso if you can. Okay, that looks like... We no longer have to worry about that. This one is outside a lot of the ideal distances, but I hope this is enough to at least hit something, and I think I hit with one, so we could see that as something. You. Um, I want this one sprinting over there, getting a couple of evasive ones, and stay there. No, this should be possible. Mineral field. Yes, it has some negative effects for both sides. Uh, what do we have here? The Vulcan. Yeah, you look like you might need some friends in form of a bunch of rockets. No clue what you try to shoot at, but do more of that. That was close, but still a very good shot, at least for me. again at the carrier. Oh, no, not that carrier, but you're panicking. Oi, oi, oi. No, no panicking here. We have everything under control. On fire. Okay. Uh, what do we have up here? Yeah, I kind of would say we should give this a wee bit a shake because we never know what is kind of happening there. Adrenaline. Yeah, we get you close enough to at least fire your SRMs. Uh, but that wouldn't be... Oh, that isn't anywhere in the idea. Uh, 21 for all of that. Oh, these are the dead fires. Oh yeah, no, fire the dead fires now until we are getting you closer. That sounds like an idea. I mean, we got hits in.
moving the Banshee. And hey, if we can hit that, that's not bad. We did take there some shots at this one. And it is a hit. 32. And yeah, this is a definitely a wee bit of challenge. This kind of feels like some of the end game uh, things I have done in the normal game. So this is an interesting proposition here. If I can hit the Vulcan, that would be great. There is some hits that went in. Okay, now this one. The panic uh, status. I don't really like the panic status on this one. Um, but still 30 something to hit this one up there. Do I have I do have other types of ammunition, so I kind of would say let's switch back to standard and fire up there. Structure exposed. That's a good option. I cannot do anything else here. So let's move this carrier up a little bit. That we might get the option to attack there. Ow. We might need to get this Argo mech out of the thing. like to move there rather closer. This one down here is annoying. Um, this is the better option with over 70% and oh, just punch out the side torso. That sounds like a great idea. Making that half a map. Turning this into half a max. So the spider is not that big of a problem anymore. Now let's see what we have. Jin. There we go. Put this one here on the perfect spot. And burning this one up a little bit. Banshee! How about we also bringing you a little bit closer? 50, 60%. How bad does this one look? On the other hand, this one it looks definitely more like a threat there at the moment. So I think we maybe should be focusing some of our fire on this one as it is a threat. Uh, of course, the spider is also a threat, but the spider doesn't deal that much damage. So I say give this one now all the food it can possibly have. Heavy chains are destroyed. That's not the one that needed destruction. Okay, no, 
let's open fire on this one. Yeah, that's fine. What now? N nothing happened there. Nothing. That? You, you are stressed now. Uh, what, what? What? Oh, I just lost half my mech. I I'm just stressed. Okay, now that he fell down, he's panicked. But still, holy hell. I kind of think, well, what, what's going on there? No, no, now that actually half my mech is destroyed, I'm a little bit stressed. Well, what, what now? Okay, I would say we are giving this one a nice little shot in the side torso. And maybe this helps out with burning them. Ooh, he's way overheated. Which is great. So, uh, <laughs> let's see. This one is a drop down. Let's move strike over here. Okay, uh, this one down here is the more dangerous unit. So I kind of would say... We should fire upon this one. Oh, it's open from the front and we're in the back. That oh, doesn't matter. This one definitely got a couple of good shots in there. And this one is also panicking. So I think we're doing a somewhat decent job with what we're doing here. Now, uh, let's have a quick look. I know that this one deals a tremendous amount of damage if it gets to be utilized. There is nothing left on this mech. Panic level critical. Yeah, I don't really think there's so much this one will be doing here. Can I move him over here and I would say we should try to take out this Vulcan. No, we should not try that because that has a very stupid hit chance. Let's take this spider instead. This one is in between. Um, oh yeah, no, why not fire on this one? MG destroyed, shoulder destroyed. Yeah, we are at the moment at the advance. Uh, How does this one look like? Yeah, we don't need that many things. So I say, let's fire those four. That should take care of this mech. That gives us the advantage to say, hey, uh, this is our round now. Okay, let's see, 16 this mech. Just fly behind him and tap him lightly on the shoulder. Which seems not to be 
as impressive as I thought it would be. <laughs> okay, the Vulcan is now... Ow! Taking revenge, I see. Okay. Unfortunately, that means my VTOL is panicking. Uh, then again, I don't really think that this makes so big of a difference. Uh, if I'm firing that, I overheat. So let's not fire the launch laser and just fire the SRMs. Destroying the right torso, taking this one out. Jin? What? Oh no, it's not taken out. Well, too bad. Not too much helping. Okay, I thought we had taken this one. That puts a minus on this. And let's see what we have over here. Okay, this one is the last one standing. He shouldn't be that... Oh my god. That works for me. Holy hell. Actually landing on top of the reinforcement and all the other things is an interesting one. So, mission successful. Let's go ahead and go to the debriefing and see what actually happens. I don't think that I had any internal structure damage, so that's a good one. And uh, let's see how it takes that we go into the debriefing here. Here we go. Uh, total success. Well, Marek doesn't like us too much anymore. But apart from that, uh, well, minus two points, uh, most of that seems to be fine. Now, let's see what we get here. Uh, kills. That is so far so good. This is also something, it seems a thing that they repair our vehicles for free while we need to repair the battle max. Another advantage of tanks in there. Okay, let's see. Uh, dispute salvage. I'm sorry, Commander, but Section A, Paragraph, the crew picks over the battlefield. It's Dynamo, they insist the contract terms allow them first rights to the following items. Cross card, Vulcan. Um... Except that it's with a lost exchange items. Lose reputation. Except that, okay, they kind of want to get stuff. Kind of let have a. Um, I'm not interested in that. Dispute. The rep uh, the rep uh, the reputation at the moment is actually worth more. Uh, as I said, I'm not that much into the whole salvage thing, so let's accept that for the moment and see what we have. I mean, there are still a few items in there that might be interesting for me. I don't really care too much about that. A few of the things I'm actually looking for is getting the cockpit base, basic cockpit system. Wait. Um, for our mechs, what else do they have? IC engines, not really what I'm looking for. The FC standard is also a nice option. Okay. A standard fusion engine. This is what I'm looking for at the moment to upgrade the mechs. Let's confirm that. And, uh, yeah. 
then jump back to the main menu, and I'll see you right at the main menu. Okay, and here we are back in the main menu. I totally forgot to double check what uh, stuff we got. But well, that is kind of easy to figure out as we kind of see, okay, we have a part for the urban, we have a part for the flea, and component, component of small laser, flamer, AC2 ammo, a primitive cockpit. Yeah, we're kind of getting rid of that. Generic structure, some jump jets. Nothing too much out of the extraordinary. Okay, um, it means we're going back to the base. This one took some damage, and uh, yeah, they kind of asked me to repair it, but I have also something else in mind with that, because we now do have the option to have a standard fusion engine instead of a primitive fusion engine. So if we chuck this one in, this gives us an extra ton that we couldn't um, allocate previously. So that means for us we can just up a lot of the armor here and yeah, make that little one here a little bit more beefy. Uh, some armor in the back because, hey, we have the armor available. There we go. An extra ton, standard fusion engine, which is way better than the other stuff we got here. Confirm that. Three days, perfect. We are taking this, confirm. Most of our pilots are out of action anyway, and we need for them to come back. Uh, same here with the fire birdie. Now, for the fire birdie, this is actually even more important than for the other one, because the fire bird, as you can see, hasn't been that big in um, being armored to begin with. Um, and a fracture generic structure standard. Why is this 10% and that one is 15? Ah, I don't know. No. Uh, also very, very important for us to just chuck in the standard engine here. I mean, if I'm going back, the primitive engine has... What? No, 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 no. Yes, I want to... I thought this was a back thing and uh, not get rid of everything. Again, refit this one. And let's have a quick look again. Um, because if you're looking here, the primitive engine has a lot worse things like visibility, signature, and stuff like that. So this definitely costs us a lot. The standard engine it's just a standard one. This one adds so much thing, more engine bay weight, cost, okay, cost to repair, armor, seagull cost to repair armor. That's nice, but this makes it so much better for us. And we get 1.8 tons we now can put into armor, which is heavily needed if we want to get this one a little bit up to par. I mean, sniper light brawler. Uh, for that, we actually need armor to be properly uh, equipped for these kind of tasks. And I might just have been too generous with some of the armor and need to switch things around a wee bit. Okay. Um, let's take a wee bit away from the legs even though I hate the idea of taking away from the legs. Mm. Let's go with that and hope nothing gets in our back. But I can say at that point I'm already super heavy 
uh, happy, super happy about how this turned out. Let's confirm that and uh, see this. And the other thing there with the renegotiation from Steiner. I'm not that surprised. I mean, Steiner does pulls things like that. They don't have that a big regard for um, mercenaries to begin with. So I'm not that surprised. But in the end, uh, getting the reputation up with them will hopefully be proving a good, uh, yeah, helpful. Uh, primitive cockpit, no. I kind of would like to get rid of the primitive cockpits and get better cockpits just in case. I could also sell all the other stuff I have in here. Doesn't really matter too much. We get at least some money out of here. Okay, that all sounds so far perfect. Let's save what we got here. Um, I'm not so sure. Let's kind of just save that. Okay, now that we have saved that, uh, let us see what our little present is and figure that out. Here we go. Uh, some stash from the old unit. Let's see what we get. An Oracle CCB. Standard uh, uh, basically advanced command module to coordinate and direct the fire of artillery units. Fast and open ground, slow and rough terrain. Let's have a look what this exactly is. Yeah, for some reason it kind of puts it here in the max slot. Uh, but let's see what we have. Light anti-air missile work. Mortar smoke, inferno guided flare. impact um, let's actually have a air burst uh, let's get it over the target area accurately against VTOL plus four with weapons against their unit types then to shot what do we have here Thunder lays mines wherever the missile hits the ground. Eight mines per projection. Two meters. Five meter shot can scatter by twin distance. What the hell? I see some interesting things that could be done with that. Hmm. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Now, um, but yeah, looking around here, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, there is the command center here. There is the store. I kind of would say, hey, let's go with what we have here and figure out what we can do. Um, there is already way too much material I have to sift through for this first episode here and get that somewhat in a workable timeline. So at that point I would say thank you all so much for being here. Uh, if you want to see more I leave links in the description for my Twitch and other things. Feel free to check that out. I would greatly appreciate it if you do so. And at that point thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for kind of bearing with me uh, fumbling through this first mission trying to figure out what's going on uh, but yeah the first mission was definitely tougher than I expected but that's also a good thing because hey that was kind of a little bit uh, try by fire so yeah at that point thank you all so much for being here and as always play it nice and keep your class attracted till the next time everyone have a good one